Hello, welcome to Google Cloud. Here we are on the storage. Okay, I just some machine I was working before or something with um, pops up. You're gonna stop it. Something I did, I just have to stop that. Also this one, let's leave for, let's open another one, which is gonna be working. In this case, you're gonna upload um, some CSV files. And again, to use to create um, a BigQuery. Here we are, okay, good. Now let's create a BigQuery table. Query. Here we're going to create a data set. Don't care about the names. Let's create a table. One thing we're going to use this USA. Says V, okay, auto detect. Kind of Medici. Here we are. Look at the structure. Okay. Well, let's create another table. On the other file we uploaded, which I want to use the schema. I'll type PRT. Okay. Now I'm going to pop up. The schemas are similar. The schemas are similar. So now we would create using this table, which you have um, hundreds of um, rows. We would export that to the other table, use the pub sub. So in this case, I use I could use the query settings here, use the data flow engine. But in this case, we're gonna do a different way. Remember, these names, okay, we're going to do now, we're going to a pop sub. Which I already have a topic here. Right, and let's create another topic. We can call it transaction. Let's put it lowercase. goes directly there. There's no message here, different from the other topic, which I'm running a scheduler, the thing here I was doing before. A lot of messages running, anyway, just to show that uh, there's a subscription created on the fly, my Chrome topic, it's called it Chrome topic, and on the fly create subscriptions for the messages that were arriving. It's going to transaction and what we're going to do now, we're going to create a subscription to export to BigQuery. So I'm gonna call it that, okay. Here we have to define all the things. So our pops up top, okay. BigQuery table, you have to put a prod data set and table name. Project, the table name, maybe, I know I get it. Data set was, oh. was James, 
dot. From the table we want, we call it PRT, okay? Our bucket. Kind of call it samples. In this case, this topic, I was going to put everything go information to that big to the big table to the that table and big query. Not big table. Let me close it. I don't want this suggestion. We can run this job, and this is the simplest way to create a data flow. And also here going to be back to the BigQuery. Can use this way. Data flow source. Can select the topic. Just select the top. From the transactions, you can preview the talk so. So using this data flow source, you could by the query move one data to the other table just using this data flow on the fly. This is the the data flow that created for us. This is automatically, you don't have to create your own self with all those things. In this case here, you could create a job. That's okay, output type, big query. The set ID, table name. PRT. So your job is running. So you can close. That was the other thing we did on the pub sub. On the samples, we have you can have many logs. Oh, this is the messages that we're running. You can check the timing. Uh, is that to check the messages if you would like to, if you would like to pull the messages. He's going to create a data flow chart. Here's the structure, okay, of your jobs. They're running. And this is all your tracked messages. All the messages that were running from one topic to, from the log to the BigQuery. Reveal. So pretty simple to work that the way of um, having the BigQuery, the PubSub, and the data flow where you can handle the entire data that comes in and go, you can put the output, the input and output. Anyway, let's go back to the storage. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.